<laughs> we didn't plan what we were going to say. Uh, oh, well, let's talk about the things we read in January. Yep. I'm Jessica. I'm Christina. <laughs> and you're watching Game of Tones! Yeah. Perfect. That's a little ridiculous. <laughs> please, please, please put that in there. Okay. I really like that. As us, we're like, hello! We didn't plan what to say. <laughs> it's like every time we film. We're like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, I finished one book in I'm, January. I'm proud of you. You're reading. You know, I did read one, and it was a big book, and, you know... I work a lot, so yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. I'm not gonna stress about it. Did you not listen to an audiobook? Nope. You just didn't feel like audiobooking? No, I haven't lately, actually. Mm -hmm. I took a long break from audiobooks. Mm -hmm. You need to sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I really got into just podcasts and music for a little while, so. Okay. Yeah. I forgot. Oh, um, I have two. Uh, <laughs> I have two graphic novels to talk about. One physical book and an audiobook. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with it. Okay. You want to go first? Yes. Uh, this one, actually, I I read... <laughs> your face. Um, I read this New Year's Eve. Oh, cool. After we filmed. Yeah. Went home and read this. I gave Bitch Planet three stars. I didn't love it like you That's loved right. it. That's all right. I gave it five stars. You did. Uh, <clears throat> women in our society are viewed as second-class citizens, and they can all be sent... To a planet for disrupting the peace of the men's eyeballs. You know, it kind of reminds me of, I'm probably going to say the wrong decade here, but back in like the 30s or 40s where it was called hysteria, oh, yeah. women were just, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is like that. It's like if you're uh, too sexual, not sexual enough, or too black, or too white, or too nice, or too violent, or any reason whatsoever they get sent to this like correctional facility which is on another planet yeah and it's kind of known as bitch planet yeah it's like the longest yard it, that's what the story turned into oh, yeah. is you know like a, a prison yeah. football game story where the the girls they form their own team it's not football it's like another like a spacey game that's like that uh and then they fight they're like gonna fight against the professionals live on television and that was kind of the setup for it and I wasn't super in love with the, that storyline particularly mm -hmm. um, also I didn't like super love the art style either and the way that it was laid out what could be like a little kind of hard for me to just follow um, the way that it was set up um, but I did like it and I would I would read and continue on because I I enjoyed myself but I just wasn't like super in love or whatever right but it was good and um, thank you for letting me borrow it yeah of course where did you get this you got it for me when for Christmas, Christmas. yeah because oh. I was thinking that was this but that was my birthday got it <laughs> <laughs> that I took forever to read that's okay we should talk about the unbeatable squirrel girl which I gave four and a half stars to I, really, I think really I gave four and a half as well. Yeah, I think it so was too. so cute, wasn't it? Was it was super cute. The writer was Ryan North mm -hmm. and the artist Erica Henderson. Mm -hmm. It was funny. Yeah. And so funny. Clever. And I really liked it. At the end, they have the first issue um, of Squirrel Girl, or like the first appearance of her, which I think was in an Iron. It was probably an Iron Man. Marvel Superheroes Winter Special X-Men. Anyway, she looked really kind of creepy. Yeah, she did. She had, like, clown makeup. But, like, of. creepy. And, like, this giant smile. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She looked like... She has, like, a haircut, like, um... Have you seen That's the original Parent Trap? Look at that. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> and then show her now, I guess. And then, really. like, the now is... That's, like, her now. Yeah, in this version. Of course they modernized it, which is great. Um, mm. 
in the very first issue where she appears, she wants to join the Avengers, and Iron Man says, well, you should go to college first. And she's like, you know, okay. Um, after, you know, she saves his life or yeah. whatever, he uh, at first rejects her and then, you know, um, comes around to see that she's um, pretty badass. And the unbeatable Squirrel Girl, she goes to college and ends up having to, you know, save the world. Yeah. And it's it was really fun. And I want to read more Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. I do too, and I remember telling you, like, I didn't expect to laugh so much. Yeah. But, like, it is really funny. Yeah, it was cute. Yeah. I want her to come, like, I want her to be in Infinity War. Or not Infinity War, in game. And you know, That would be really cool if they brought her. Yeah. Because I think the story behind her is that, you know, people are always comparing, like, can Superman beat Iron Man or whoever, you know, and then um, she came along, they created her, and she is unbeatable. Yeah. Uh, so I'd love to see With the powers of a squirrel. Beat Thanos. That'd be really cool. Yeah. She, okay. She's bad A. Eh? I like it. I do too. I finished the second Farseer trilogy book, which is Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. I can't say a lot about it because it's a sequel, but it picks up kind of where it left off pretty much and continues with that storyline. <laughs> so I didn't enjoy it as much as the first one because it was kind of slower paced and it was harder for me to get into it. Okay. Uh, but it still, you know, left off at a great kind of point. At the end? At the end. Okay. And where I immediately wanted to continue because I didn't want to pick up the third one immediately after. But then when I finished the second one, I wanted to immediately pick up the third one. I'm currently reading that. So I would say that um, the pacing is just kind of what threw me off, I think. And it just felt um, slower. It reminded me of like Brandon Sanderson where it's like, he has a slow build and then like jam packs everything in the end. Oh yeah. You know? And that's what this one felt like. And the first one didn't quite feel that way. And so I was kind of like, mm, mm hmm. You yeah. know? But I still really enjoyed it. And I do want to continue. Which, I mean, I am. So. Good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> this month I listened to The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee narrated by Christian Coulson, who played Voldemort, Tom Riddle, I think in uh, The Prisoner of Azkaban, he was the one that came out of the diary. That's in the Chamber, Chamber of Secrets. Secrets. Yeah. I didn't know that was him. That's cool. Yeah. And the narration was like super good. Whoa. Yeah. Nice. That was my favorite part about it, actually. And the characters. Mackenzie Lee did a really good job of creating well-rounded characters that you don't usually see in a historical fiction novel. You said 1800s? No, 18th century, so oh, 1700s. Yeah, 17. This young man, whose name I already forgot. <laughs> There's a young man um, who we follow named Henry Montague, and he is going on tour with his best friend and his sister. His best friend is Percy, and he has a crush on him. Monty is actually bisexual, and his father knows, and he is very abusive towards him. Oh. Monty is set up to lead, or no, he's set up to inherit his father's estate, and he doesn't really want to do that. He kind of just wants to party, but he has to kind of learn to be responsible and straighten right. up. And on tour, what are they on tour for? Is that where you like come out in social societies? Like around Europe, you know, and where they would like present themselves as eligible bachelors or whatever. No, I don't think it's you know that necessarily. Like they did with women? Yeah, you know it's kind of that way. They're just trying to get, like, cultured. Make, and so okay. they, go, they go around and, like, and make they, connections. And they make connections, but gotcha. also they, they're, like, seeing the sights and, like, growing up kind of thing. Okay. I thought he was, like, in a band. No. <laughs> when you said going on tour, I was like, they did that? <laughs> in the 1700s? <laughs> Sorry. Right. The story is really secondary to the characters, and normally I'm totally fine with like a, um, a secondary plot, but it's like, it was like she was trying to make the plot interesting when it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Like something really bad would happen, and then something else really bad would happen, and then they would be, you know, they'd have to do, then he got in his mind that he needed this one thing, and like, it was like, nobody even cares about that one thing. 
but he just like I don't know fixated on it or mm -hmm. I'm glad that I listened to it I'm not I'm not like super crazy about it but I did really like it um so yeah three and a half stars hmm. okay yeah but the narrator was really good the so narrator that's was great. excellent and no I, I really did en enjoy my time I just so your like... stars off was it the narrator it was just the book itself more so mm -hmm. which I did enjoy listening to I just right. don't think it's gonna like stick with me forever or whatever right well I might I might give it a listen at some point I think you you would like it okay cool yeah uh, it's been a while since I've read any historical fiction or oh. anything set in the past. The past. <laughs> uh, Days of so, yore. And I, I do enjoy those. I brought this back to Return to Christina, and that is Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, the illustrated edition. Thank you so much for letting me borrow it. You're welcome. Anytime. I really, 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 really enjoyed reading it this way. Yeah. There's I do, some really good illustrations. There are. I do want to share two of them. Sure. Just because it's funny. Ooh, I love the color ones. Ooh, I do too. Those are my favorite. I was like, ooh. <laughs> do you, I tweeted about this. I saw you kept um, putting some on your Instagram story, which I really enjoyed. Oh, good. Looking at. Good, so, good. Yeah. I'm glad. Uh, okay, so here's um, Danny, and she's about to marry Khal Drogo. And one thing you need to know about the Illustrated Edition is that oh, yes. it was done by multiple people. And so they have another version of this exact scene, and it is that. And she just looks so womanly, and she's got, like, makeup and highlighter, and... <laughs> she's got that contour going down. She do, yeah. Yeah, she do. That's a gorgeous photo, though. It is. But didn't she look, like, photo 23 in that well, She photo? does, no, yeah, she looks quite older. But in the other one, she straight up looks like she's 13. Which, which is what she is. Yeah. Uh, so we're reading this for the Ketchup GOT mm -hmm. readathon. Um, it's bi-monthly. Yeah. And so if you want to join in and read a Game of Thrones with us, we will be discussing it at the end of February. The Ketchup Book Club is hosted by Becca and the Books, mm -hmm. co-hosted by um, some other people as well, and we'll all be getting together at the end of February to discuss it so you have time to to read it if you haven't yet i do highly suggest that you read it if you've been wanting to because man it's m my favorite thing what um what 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 <laughs> you've read this before what what number of reading is this <laughs> why it's the first book in the series yeah how many times have you read this what? this is the second time i've read this so it's your second reread or your first reread? It's my first reread. Okay, that's what I was trying to ask. Yeah. <laughs> I have... I have, I'm sorry. I, I don't like this is the first this book. I don't understand. <laughs> you know that. I know. <laughs> so, it was my first reread, and yeah. it's your... So, you've only read the whole series once. I've read the whole series one time. I so thought you've read it more than that. Mm -mm. Okay, I gotcha. No. So, I'm happy to be rereading it. The thing is about this is that I'm seeing things, like, all the foreshadowing. Yeah. That I didn't see before. Yeah. And there is so much. And I'm just... And also, like, I feel like I know these characters, so, like, and the plot. And so now that I have the overview, um, and going through it again, I could really pick up on those small details. Right. That I missed in the beginning. And it was just... It was a rich reading experience. Cool. And I'm excited to get to the next one in March. Yeah, so, um... They're doing this with a whole series, Catch Up Book Club is, and so uh, they'll have a live show for the second book probably in April. So it, it's going on all year. Yeah. And given two months per book, which is great for me because it takes two months to finish a book. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm also reading this for the Catch Up thing. Yes. Yeah, you are. You'll, yeah. you'll be finishing in February. Yeah. Yes, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like you have to convince yourself. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, I believe in you. Yeah, thank you. Uh-huh. I need that. <clears throat> you only need to read, you know, two and a half chapters. Probably less now since you're... Oh, man. Dude, I should tab it out. Tab it out. Oh, my God. Ta when in doubt, tab it out. Exactly. Yes. I forgot I did tell you I was going to do that, too, because you said you did that, didn't you? And I was like, oh, that's a great idea. I should tab it out. I didn't physically tab it out, but I did math. Like, I was like, oh, I need to read X amount of chapters. Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna physically tab it out. Wow, genius. I am going to finish it in February. <laughs> All it takes is a little tabbing. 
Just a little tab. <laughs> We're also listening to a podcast, which is really... <gasps> oh, yeah! It, is, it just dives so deep into it. it like, so if you oh. have read... I'm, first of all, I want to thank Sir Booksage for turning me on to mm -hmm. this podcast. It's called Not a Podcast, yeah. which is a play on George R. R. Martin's blog that he has called Not a Blog. <clears throat> so if you have read and watched all of the TV show, because they give they talk about the whole thing, yeah. they talk about everything in context, including the novellas, I think. Or yeah, something. yeah. Which I haven't read I the haven't novellas either. yet, but I will. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm okay to to listen to. The I haven't podcast. read the whole series, but I've seen the whole TV show. But I still haven't really encountered anything that's like. Yeah, you know. If you've seen the whole TV, but they TV do show warn you in the podcast that they are going to talk about everything. Yeah. So, but anyway, <clears throat> they do it chapter by chapter. Yeah. Uh, once a week. And when they break it down, they really break it down. They do. And they yeah. also give, like, um, a synopsis at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, before yeah. they start talking about it, about what the chapter was, everything that happened within it. Uh, anyway, it was really super good. Yeah. So, I would definitely uh, go with that one. If you haven't consumed all of the, the show, and, the, and this is, like, your first time going through it, I would suggest another podcast called... What's the other podcast called? Game of Owns. Yep. That's what it is. And you can find that on, uh, you need to do it through Spotify instead of Google Play because you, like, have to scroll down all the way to, like, 2012 when they started reading the series. Um, and they, and they go, like, by, like, five chapters at a time and they discuss that. Spotify, that you can just organize it by date mm -hmm. so it will automatically, so you don't have to scroll. It's a little less involved and in-depth than the Not A Podcast, but the Not A Podcast is still only, like, halfway through the first book. Yeah. So, yeah. That's the only downside about that one, but yeah. it is really good. Okay. I do like the map. That's the map is so beautiful. Yeah. And colored and very easy to read. Yeah. Which is... I appreciate that. Dope. I really, really liked... I forgot how beautiful this way. copy is. Okay. Did your mama give it to you? No, I bought this with my own accord. Oh, I did not know that. I'm pretty sure I did. Good job. Okay. Okay. Well, that's the things that we read in January. Yes, indeed it is. It was. Uh, when you play the game of tomes, you read or you die. Come be our friends. <laughs> Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. <laughs>